Curtin Bryan here from Clifton Accountants. Well, the 2011 federal budget's been handed down. We'd already heard about the tax on resource super profits, big spending in the health industry, and how the budget's supposedly going to be out of deficit within the next three years. But really, what does that mean for the average Australian? Today, we're going to just try and go through a few of the main points from the budget to see how they're relevant for you, and also talk a little bit about the Henry Tax Review, which was recently announced. We'll start with the budget. The Treasurer has announced an automatic tax deduction of $500 for individuals starting in the 2012 year. This jumps to $1,000 in the 2013 year. It's important to note, however, this is a tax deduction rather than a tax refund. It'll be for most taxpayers, this means a tax saving of potentially $180. However, if you're already claiming tax deductions of more than $1,000, then there's no benefit to you. It's also important to note that this does not mean you do not have to lodge a tax return. Business owner with employees, wages growth is tipped to outstrip inflation by about 1.5% over the next couple of years. So you should factor that in when you're doing your business budgets and forecasts for those periods. For anyone with money in an interest-bearing account, the government's announced a 50% discount on the first $1,000 of interest earned. What this means is a benefit of about $170. It's not a lot, but at least it's money back in your pocket. Good news on the GST front for businesses looking to finance business equipment or vehicles. Currently, if you hire purchase equipment and vehicles, you have to claim the GST back over the period of the finance. With the changes in the budget, you will be able to claim the GST back up front, which means more cash in your pocket sooner. For on GST, it's also important to note that the tax office is throwing more money at GST and compliance, which means more audits, especially in the cash economy area. Those with business and personal debt, there have been interest rate rises flagged because the rate of inflation hasn't been dropping as quickly as the Reserve Bank first forecast it to. What this means is there's going to be some interest rate pain, so make sure you factor that into your personal and your business budgets. And finally on the budget, a point about rebates. The net medical expenses rebate has seen its threshold increase from $1,500 to $2,000, which means that the average person claiming the rebate is $100 out of pocket. It's not a lot, but again, they're taking something off you. So as you may have noticed, the majority of these budget changes are coming in from the 1st of July 2011 for the 2012 year. This means it gives you a little bit of time to do some planning to work out how these challenges and, uh, and benefits are going to impact on you. Henry Tax Review. Of the 138 recommendations, only a handful have been implemented by the government. We're going to look at a couple of the ones that we think might be relevant for you. Firstly, compulsory superannuation. This is set to increase from the current rate of 9% to 12%. The increase is started in the 2013 financial year uh, and go until 2020 year. This is good news for employees, but costly for employers. Next, from the Henry Tax Review, there's going to be an immediate deduction available for assets purchased by a business up to $5,000. That's an increase from the current $1,000, uh, which brings forward your deduction, gives you a little bit more benefit in the current year when you buy those, when you've got the cash flow going out. For those of you who use a company to trade through, profits are going to be taxed down from 30% to 28% from the 1st of July 2012 if your business has got turnover of less than $2 million. If you're over 50 years old, there is an increase in the amount that you can claim as a tax deduction for personal super contributions. From the 1st of July 2012, the amount that you can claim is increasing by $50,000. This means rather than claiming the $25,000 as initially indicated, you'll be able to claim a tax deduction for $75,000. The tax benefit of this announcement is approximately $8,000. That's it, our summary of the 2011 Federal Budget and the Henry Tax Review. We trust it's been helpful for you so you don't have to wade through all the newspapers and online information. If you'd like more information on any of these points or to see how it's going to impact your personal situation, please give Clifton Accountants a call. Thanks for your time.